I recently bought this 580 ASUS a GPU and what I'm facing right now is a black screen after uh, doing some hours of game or editing some videos. But why? Hi there, welcome to Crypto Studio again and this time I want to solve the black screen problem that RX 580 uh, caused my system and uh, actually while I do some gamings or even editing some videos I face this black screen after a while. Uh, before I have made a video about how, how to automate your fan speed actually for your GPU in order to have a stable system, a stable GPU uh, performance because uh, as I told you while you play games or you do some editing with your software that GPU doesn't increase the fan speed sometimes and I just somehow increased that fan speed with one of my systems by MSI Afterburner software. But right now I have another problem. What I'm playing game with RX 580, I sometimes, sometimes no, actually most of the times I face a black screen and I did everything for the GPU. I even changed the uh, driver, I reinstalled it, I updated Windows, I updated GPU drivers and uh, even I overclocked it. I did many things on the GPU but it didn't solve my problem actually. Then I understood that I should do something else and this is the way that I actually solved my GPU problem for black screen. Uh, in previous video I told you that there will be another video about AMD Radeon software other than edition which is right now I have downloaded that from the official site and I put the link into the description below. In this uh, software, actually you can see, you can monitor many things. It's a very good software for tuning your GPU, for monitoring your system, especially even you can record uh, your screen, take screenshots or even go live stream. But for solving that problem, especially with RX 580, you should come to performance tab. In performance, you can see something like metrics, tuning and advisor. I come to tuning. In tuning part, normally GPU tuning is off, actually it's disabled and you need to enable it. I have already enabled that. And normally this advanced control is disabled, so you have to first come to this tab and change this number to minus 6, minus 7 or even minus 8. But I will tell you uh, how you can choose your system, uh, GPU max frequency better actually. So I chose minus seven, you can choose minus six because sometimes uh, maybe minus five answers you, but I chose minus seven because minus six was something that I got the black screen again and the system wasn't that stable. So I put it on minus seven for example first, then I enable this tab. When I enable it, all the things you should know is this, that this number normally is 1366, which is high for uh, this kind of GPU. This is why that I get that black screen. So what I'm telling you and what I did actually changed it to below that. By changing that tab, I mean this tab, to minus 7 or minus 6, these numbers are automatically changed if you see. So when I enable it, I see that these numbers are changed by itself. By minus 7 my system was so stable because it gave me 1265 for state 7 which is the maximum number and for state 6 1227 and it goes down so the state goes to zero as well so what should i do is this that i should keep this number around 1257 not below that because if you go to the official site of uh, rx 55 at it told you that the minimum frequency is 1257 so it's better not to keep that number below uh, 1257 so I chose 1265 actually I didn't change anything here when I uh, decreased this tab to minus 7 these numbers actually changed to this amount I didn't change anything so if there was a problem for you if you faced any other problems again you can change these numbers for example you can go to 1285 if you didn't get a blank black screen you can go higher higher until you get the black screen and you get back to the previous uh, number for example 1265 is what I got uh, maybe you think with yourself that if I do this action, I do not get a better performance of my GPU. Actually, it affects on GPU, but not that much. I'm doing the game like before, nothing happened, no lag, no uh, flickering of monitor, nothing happened in my display, nothing happened in GPU performance, but everything got stable even. I didn't get that black screen after uh, even uh, playing seven or eight hours games. Uh, because this number was the stable number for me, 1265. I even went to 12, 
a 75 or 1280 everything was okay but when i got around 1300 uh, that was the time that i got the black screen and uh, that's because of this number actually nothing happened to the performance because the official site declared that this number shouldn't be below 1257 actually you see it is not below 1257 and uh, it is 1265 for me I enabled them all and I'm working with that uh, sometimes I faced some higher temperature in that GPU and then I came to this tab I could automate the fan actually like MSI afterburner that I've already uh, put a video into the channel about that it is somehow like MSI afterburner but you can do different kinds of stuffs you can see the temperature in here uh, you could see the temperature in MSI Afterburner 2. This software can do all the things for your GPU together. So you can put these dots higher, lower. You can decide, for example, on what temperature, how many percentage of uh, fan you need. And when it goes higher, your fan percentage should go higher and higher. I mean, it increases the fan speed while your temperature is uh, increasing. Something that I faced was this, that RX 580 normally doesn't increase the fan speed while you're gaming. This is something that I've experienced. So this is why when I uh, worked with the fan uh, settings in here, I got a better temperature in my GPU. So I uninstalled MSI Afterburner for this system and I kept MSI Afterburner for another system which I'm doing editing with. But this one, while I'm doing gaming and I need to do game with RX 580, this is a good idea to download and install our AMD rather than other Nalina edition. This is the software that is produced by AMD. But if you're doing uh, gaming or if you're doing anything with other GPUs but not RX 580, so MSI Afterburner can do it enough. I did this just for RX 580 because this is the problem that many of these GPU users have while you're doing games. They get black screens, blue screens, they get lots of errors. But Changing this frequency to around 1265 or that number that I formerly showed to minus seven, eight or minus six can solve your problem. This is what happened to me. And for high temperature of GPU, you can come to the, uh, this tab actually. For, for this tab, let me tell you that I forgot it somehow. For fan tuning, you have to enable fan tuning first and then come to advanced control and enable advanced control as well. Then you can see such a diagram and you can change whatever you like. So for example, normally my fan uh, runs below 50% until for example, this amount of temperature. It goes a bit higher and higher when it exceeds 42 degree of temperature. Around 70, my fan works with 80%. This is something that you like, but normally as you know that if you're gaming, between 75 to 80 is a great temperature for all the GPUs. Sometimes some people say that it is good to go about 85, but I personally do not like to see my GPU temperature more than 82, 83. It bothers me somehow. Uh, if there is any other question, you can ask me uh, and write your opinion, suggestion in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe me and send it to those who have such problems. Thanks for joining Crypto Studio. See you later.